What's up guys, XM and Albert here. Welcome to this video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a very special one, a very special day. Shout out to all you beautiful people. I hope you're having a great day, great night. Anyways, as you guys can see by the title of the video, today is May 11th, 2020. 10 years ago, Skate 3 was released to the world. This is the day that I picked up Skate 3 for the very first time back in 2010, and this is the start of my YouTube career, of the great memories that I've made, the great friends I've met. It's a very special video game. It's not just a game, guys. I know some of you are gonna think that, oh my gosh, this guy's, you know, giving thanks, or not giving thanks, but congratulating a Skate 3 game, or a video game in general. This is more than just a video game. And um, it's a game, like I said, that changed my life and all my friends' lives forever, including my family, and a big part of our lives. And it's a, it's, it's a great thing. So thank you, Skate 3. Thank you for everyone that developed this game. Thank you for doing this. Like, you really probably don't even know how many lives you've changed through this game. So I wanted to make this vlog, a sit down vlog in front of the camera and kind of like give you a uh, story time. Story time from the beginning of my journey all the way up into now and it's, a, it's kind of a wild one i'm not going to go in too 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 into detail because i honestly could be here probably forever but uh, i'm going to give you guys definitely the highlights it was may 10th 2010 bro at this time i was you know i've already been playing skate 2 i was actually doing pretty good on that game you know making kind of a name for myself i was still kind of a random but the name albert was kind of getting out there um at the time my gamer tag was like wicked or xx wicked albert x360 or something like that something really weird i know it's a weird name but uh i was anticipating i was anticipating this day uh may 11th i was anticipating because obviously skate 3 was being dropped i knew about it and i was getting back home from school waiting for my mom to get home from work and she did she knew that i was gonna get skate 3 on this day so we went to best buy the same store that i got skate 2 from and there was skate 3 on the shelf i picked it up we went to the checkout we went home and i popped it in the xbox for the very first time not knowing that it was about to change my life forever bro not knowing that 10 years later i was going to be sitting here in front of this camera explaining to you guys telling the story about this awesome journey absolutely insane it's crazy how life works bro like if you guys have something that you really want to do you have big dreams you have big goals go for it dude go for it no matter how ridiculous or how negative people talk about it or tell you no or you can't do it, etc. Just do it, bro. If it makes you happy, you enjoy doing it, do it. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. It might take you a few years. It might take you a few months. It might take you a few days, but you're going to get there. You're going to reach your goals. You're going to become very successful in whatever your definition of successful is. You're going to get there for sure. I remember a lot of people used to tell me I was going to get nowhere, bro. A lot of people used to tell me I was going to get nowhere, skate three. Um, even my teachers in school said I was gonna get nowhere with YouTube and stuff like that Because um, I used to uh, skip school just to do YouTube just to play skate 3. I would skip school I was behind about seven se seven or eight credits um, And during the last year of junior high I Recovered all those credits and I graduated right on time. But anyways, that's a whole different story So yeah, I popped in skate 3 for the first time press English. I met coach Frank for the first time I did his tutorial mastered it and I started playing the career. I think it only took me a, a month and a half probably to complete the full career. And at this time, after playing, completing the career, I was uh, really, really invested into Hall of Meat. I was playing a lot of Hall of Meat, getting really good at it. Then my first team came to me. I forgot the full team of the name, but I know Nightmare was in the name somewhere. I'm not sure what the rest was, but they're mostly for Hall of Meat. And uh, we we're killing it, dude. We we're pretty killing it at the time for Hall of Meat. Eventually, I kind of branched off and I started playing a lot of spot battle, a lot of one-up. Then my second team came to me and recruited me. I left I left that Nightmare team for Hall of Me and joined this other team. I kind of forgot what the name was, but I know it was mainly for like Hall of Me. I mean, for one-up and spot battle. And I uh, also started playing solo ranked. I started playing solo ranked one-up. And eventually, it took me a few weeks, I think about a month and a half, two months. I became number one for one-up solo ranked in the world. So that was a cool accomplishment. That definitely gave me a lot of exposure in the community. I started getting my name a lot more out there. Uh, eventually, I changed my name to Also Me Albert 360. It was supposed to be Awesome Albert 360, but I don't mess, misspelled it, and I put Also Me Albert 360. A W S O M E. And then uh, one of the best teams on Skate 3 at the time, uh, Carnage Crew, I believe, recruited me. Um, I didn't really last too long on that team, to be honest. I kind of wanted to do my own team. I wanted to make my own team. But before we get into that, this was also around the time that I invented trick lining. I was starting to notice that my playstyle on 1UP, on I mean on 1UP, on Spot Battle, especially Mega Park, was very different. I was starting to see that 
difference and i started realizing that i might be onto something i might be onto like making a, a a different play style just you know playing different in general than everyone else was playing and at the time too i was playing call of duty i was actually getting into trick shotting and i was familiar with the like the concept of what involves a trick shotting and then one day i was like hmm i was just thinking i was brainstorming i was like in a way trick shotting and what i'm doing on skate 3 kind of relates I know they're two completely different games, but like with trick shot, you have to spin, you have to jump off, and you have to no scope to hit a random player. And with this play style that I was coming up with, I have to revert, I have to flip, and I have to transfer to a different ramp or a different object. So I was like, hmm, in a way, you know, there's a plan to do this type of line that I'm doing on Skate 3, and there's a type of way to do a trick shot on Call of Duty. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna name it Trick like for trick shotting and on a lining for lines on skate three so i named it trick lining and boom trick lining was born and let me tell you guys when i started telling people this they made fun of me the people on skate three made fun of me like they were like what trick line you didn't invent s-h-i-t like yeah like this is where a lot of people um started doubting I know, I remember being so confident about this, like I knew it was gonna get big, I knew it was gonna be something very special, but no one really believed me. Um, until I started like really going ham in the paint with it, I started making videos of me trick lining, I started explaining it a lot more. Um, and this brings us to the time where I made the team, the best. And I knew I wanted to recruit the best players to ever play Skate 3, and to this day, it's pretty cool. But, uh, you know, most of the best players on Skate 3 has came through that team, through the best, through Rice Skating. It's pretty awesome. And I'm thankful I was able to hit those accomplishments with that team. And yeah, uh, Trickerline just started evolving from there. Eventually, uh, soon after I made the best, I met O Skater O. O Skater O, bro. As you guys know him as Skater, Andrew, Rice Skater, whatever you guys know him as. And uh, when I first saw him skateboarding, uh, playing the game, saw him trick lining. I knew he was special, bro. I knew he was different. Like the way he would trick line was was so beautiful. It was different. It was it was elevated. It was great. So I wanted him on my team. He was a big fan of mine. I remember him being really excited when I wanted him to recruit him to the team. Him and my other friend Wicked, which is one of my first uh, friends on on Skate Three, and I think my first recruit also on Skate Three, my team. Uh, they got along really well as well. Recruited them to the team and boom, like Skater uh, evolved Trickline. I set the foundation and Skater really evolved it. And to this day, you know, Trickline really wouldn't really be the number one place on Skate 3 if it wasn't from Skater. Like it was a team effort here. It was great, dude. It was great. Around this time too, we uh, decided to start uploading videos to YouTube. Um, I was already familiar with YouTube because I used to upload like mini motorcycle videos to my video, uh, to my YouTube channel. I had this little pocket bike that I would literally ride up, uh, ride around my house, record myself and upload to YouTube. So I was kind of familiar with YouTube. I knew I wanted to upload our Skate 3 reels to, to the channel. And I would literally do that. I would screenshot the reels on skate.ya.com and upload our clips to the channel. They started getting views. So I was like, you know what? Let's, I want to do something. I want to do like a team touch, like Call of Duty teams do it. So I was like, hmm, let's do it. So there we go. We did the first ever Skate 3 team touch and it started popping. It started getting views, started getting us exposures and subscribers. And kind of the rest is kind of history. We just kind of just kept doing that. We kept uploading videos, team touches. Eventually we did solo episodes, introducing, kind of following and, and what the, the Call of Duty scene was doing on YouTube. Eventually we became Obey of Skate um, for a while. That gave us a huge exposure. We met a lot of cool people. We met uh, Rob Deerdick uh, for a 100K subscriber special. That was a cool uh, accomplishment for that. And eventually around like 2012, 2013, I kind of wanted to focus on my personal channel. You know, I was like, yeah, we, we did a lot already with the team channel, we have it going. We still had it going when I started focusing on my main channel, but uh, I knew I wanted to do something for myself as well. You know, I wanted to branch out. So I made my personal channel and started grinding that like crazy. Sub subscribers started coming in. I got recognized by a couple big YouTubers. I did a collab with Jazzeptikide back when he was smaller doing uh, Skate 3 videos. That was a huge help. From there, I got exposure from 407. We did a collab and that's when my personal channel really started popping off. You know, I hit 100,000 subscribers very quick. From there, I hit 300,000 subscribers 
and then half a million subscribers and it was the most amazing journey the most life-changing experience ever like it was great and to this day i'm extremely thankful i've met so many cool people through this game bro it's it's crazy i know I'm, i might be skipping a lot but it's just a lot to talk about like i said i'll be here forever but we started traveling we started traveling a lot um, I think it started like in 2015. Um, we we're heavily into it like in 2016, 2017. Rice Chris, Skater, Steez, uh, Tice, Jenna, aka Shinx, uh, Sorable, True, aka X7 True, Rice True. Uh, if I'm forgetting your name, I'm sorry, but there's that was like the the tight friend group. That was like the people that would travel all the time with us. Oh, maybe I forgot about him. Shout out Michael. Um, we're just traveling, making so much memories, dude, and just so motivated so thankful for what skate 3 did to our lives and it was great like a lot of us came out of hard times and and skate 3 and this friend group really helped us you know it really helped us get through life and evolve into the people that we are today it's absolutely a, a blessing dude like the more i think about this the more i want to get emotional i don't really want to do that here on camera but it's just awesome man and, and i'm so thankful for all the fan meetups that we did through these times and meeting all you beautiful people and just seeing how excited you guys are to see us it's an unreal feeling like i remember seeing my first fan in real life freaking out to me seeing me in person i was like what is going on bro that's when like it really hit me that not only me but my friend group and the team and everyone involved was so inspiring to young people was so inspiring to other people and we're making people happy and smiling and, and motivate them to play skate 3 and motivate them to go further in life and it was a great feeling dude and it's still a great feeling to this day and i'm so thankful and i know everyone else that was involved with with me and my team um is so thankful as well skate 3 dude skate 3 truly 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 changed our lives forever truly made so many opportunities for us um made so many memories for us it was just it's been awesome it's been awesome truly thankful in the comment section down below guys what is your best memory of skate 3 let me know in the comments tweet me dm me all the information in the description of the video shout out skate 3 bro shout out skate 3 thank you for this great decade thank you for all the great people i've met through this game it's awesome it's truly awesome thank you guys for watching this video let me know your greatest memory of skate 3 in the comment section down below till next time Peace out. Okay. I'm sitting in this corner. I'm sitting in this corner. Get inside. Get inside the building. Get <laughs>